Hello everybody, JGC Anime here, and today I'm going to be giving my first impressions on the anime Bleach. The reason I'm just doing like a first impressions type video rather than like an actual review is because I haven't seen the full show and I don't know if I'm going to be reviewing the entire show. In fact, it's a huge debate in my head. And so that's why I'm just kind of going to be spending this video talking about the first one through nine episodes, which I've already finished. And yeah, so let's just hop right into this. But before we begin, actually, I will say there are going to be spoilers. This is going to be unlike my normal reviews that I normally do. This is going to contain a lot of spoilers, and I'd rather just get that room say that right out of the way. It's going to be a spoiler filled review or not really review, just more of a first impression video where that's what we're going to be discussing today. So, yeah, just getting that out of the way. It's gonna be filled with spoilers, so if you haven't seen Bleach, I'd recommend clicking up now. This is not meant to be a huge review going over the entire show. It's meant to be a very simple, straightforward review where I just talk about it and just straight up spoilers, not going to hold anything back. So yeah, I'll give you about, I'll give you, um, so the count of five, if you're still here, then you're willing to listen to what I have to say. So yeah, five, four, three, Two, one. Okay, so first impressions, I'm liking it, but not like majorly liking it. Like I'm aware that this whole series is one of the big like three or four with One Piece, Naruto, and Dragon Ball. I know it's one of the bigger ones and that's why I really wanted to check it out because I really liked One Piece, didn't really like Naruto, don't have an opinion on Dragon Ball, I don't plan to watch it. And so far, because this one, other than One Piece, looked really interesting to me, I decided to check it out. And it's not the worst thing I th I've seen, but I wouldn't say it's like on the same level as One Piece to me, because one of the things I really liked about One Piece was how it immediately sucked me in. The first episode was amazing, and I had such a great time while watching that I just couldn't get enough of it. I really, really loved One Piece from then on. Sure, some of the arcs in there became extremely long, and I've recently found it after reaching up over episode 600 that I've started to lose interest because the storylines just aren't grabbing me as much anymore, but the initial grab kept me invested, having me stick around for over 600 episodes. However, unlike One Piece, Bleach has a bit more of a unique say in my mind because I'm going through this phase right now that I want to call like anime fatigue where I end up not really getting into shows as much, where I'll feel tired while watching them, even if I'm enjoying them. It makes it quite difficult for me to fully focus on the show. That's why one of the things that I read about to help kind of fix with this mindset would be to go back and watch some older anime. That's what led to me checking out Bleach. And honestly, it's not the worst thing I've seen. And it's not like the worst thing I've seen. It's definitely, it definitely has some interesting parts to it. And I do find myself enjoying a lot of it and laughing at the fact that one of the characters literally just looks like Filza from Minecraft, which I'm guessing that's what the skin is, his Minecraft skin is based off of. But I feel like, well, it's not really stuck with me yet. Some of the episodes and some of the storylines are really good. There's a storyline about this guy who we can call Chad because his because everyone calls him Chad. His name is actually Yastora Sato, but he is a, his name is his, his nickname is Chad and he really is a Chad in the show. And he's probably so far been my favorite character. His storyline with him and this little boy who was whose soul was pushed into the body of a bird was a really interesting storyline and I really liked it. I thought the story was super interesting and super fun. At least to me, I was definitely invested and I wanted to keep watching, but I wouldn't say every other storyline was like that. Like the one with the character Orihime, I think that's her name. She was probably my least favorite character so far from what I've seen. She's not the worst character. The worst character, not in terms of like actual hatred of them, but I don't really have much of an opinion of them to go off of so far. It's probably the character whose name I can't remember that's trapped inside the lion stuffed animal during the series. Like, there's this like guy or soul stuffed in a, trapped in a stuffed animal because he originally took over Ichigo's body, the main character Ichigo's body and ended up eventually getting put into that stuffed animal. He, he's not that great of a character yet. For me, I hate him 
not like hate hate but like I dislike him like he doesn't have enough of a personality to, for me to really grab onto yet and both him and Orihime have been probably the few characters I'm not too big on yet there are some characters I don't have any opinion on but those two in terms of like actual opinion I don't think they're that great yet this is, that might change in the future this is still I've only watched episodes one through nine I haven't yet made enough progress to have a different opinion however I do like a lot of the developments and how there's several characters having growth in this and I really like that and it doesn't feel like it's just Ichigo's story although Ichigo does get a lot of screen time along with his uh, well maybe I should actually spend some time describing the story to anyone who obviously already knows what it is but for those of you who might just be listening to the spoiler stuff without much of a care for it this story is about a boy named Ichigo who has the power to see spirits and ends up being this girl called Rukia who is a soul reaper who goes around and brings souls to um, some place that's like the soul um, society I think they're called it they call it the soul society where they rest in peace there but uh, the, yeah after that uh, some kind of monster ends up attacking Ichigo and his family which leads for Rukia to give him the powers of a soul reaper and thus he becomes a substitute soul reaper having taken her powers away from her and the two of them work together to take out these monsters which I, which I can't remember the name of them right now but overall I'd say that the, dynam the dynamic between those two is probably one of my favorite parts of this show. I really like the way they interact with each other, especially with how Ichigo kind of slams on on Rukia's drawings all the time because she's always trying to show him things through drawings, which I think is really funny because her art's not terrible, but he always just like messes around with it by saying, why are you, why are your drawings so weird, which are always really funny to watch. And overall, I don't mind it but mind the action and the way things are paced but there's still some really weird moments that stick out to me like during the battle between Orihime's brother who was about to like kill Orihime and probably go out and probably kill himself along with her or something I don't remember too well it was last week I watched this but or that specific episode where during that um there's like this scene where Ichigo is trying to slice down on his neck only for him to like pause in place for like a solid like five, ten seconds where it just goes flashing back between Ichigo and the neck, Ichigo and the neck. And it just keeps repeating like over and over again. And that really felt weirdly <laughs> drawn out. And the same thing happened later on when we were talking with the character Chad, who is probably still my, or I say still, but is probably my favorite character standing here as my favorite character. He's definitely my favorite. And... And there's just like this one scene where he's talking and suddenly he just pauses for like a solid five to ten seconds. I'm just like, and? And? And I was just so confused why he just wasn't saying a single thing. And then he finally says something. I'm like, oh, there we go. Which they were probably either using to stretch out the time or he actually was that silent. But yeah, Chad's probably my favorite character in the series so far. The second one being Ichigo, then Rukia. And the rest of the characters are fine. I yeah, don't think much about Orihime or the guy trapped in the stuffed animal. They don't really mean much to me personally. And overall, I'm not hating the show, but I'm not loving it yet. Unlike One Piece, which I got into in the first episode, and unlike Naruto, where after just forcing myself to sit through all that, I just couldn't watch anymore and just dropped the whole thing. This one, I'm still unsure about. Like, I'm not sure if I like it or if I don't. It's just this weird spiral where I can't say it's bad or good. So we'll find out if I decide to continue the series. This is just my first impressions of these episodes. And that's just kind of like what I have to say. I think these episodes are fine the way they are. And I don't think they're terrible. But they're, they're not the best thing I've seen yet. Still pretty good, though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say they're the worst thing ever. They don't grab me as much as other shows do. But I wouldn't say that they're bad. So... Yeah, that's my first imp impressions on Bleach, so that's, I guess that could be all I have to say. I'm not too sure, because I, I don't, I always feel like I'm not, I'm forgetting something, but I'm not. Like, I've already said everything I wanted to say, so it's just weird. It's just, overall, probably so far, 7 out of 10. I wouldn't say it's terrible. It's, it's keeping me somewhat interested, but it's not investing yet, so we'll just have to see where things go from here. 
I hope Bleach becomes more interesting as time goes on. And yeah, if I continue the series, I will probably continue these impression videos. This may seem a bit different from my usual videos, but it's just because I didn't finish any anime this last week, so I didn't have anything to review. So, because I like to review these review shows as almost as soon as I finish them. So, I don't have an opinion on any new shows yet, although I do have a few on my to watch list. We'll probably be returning to normal reviews next week. This is kind of just like a unique video because I didn't have any show I finished this week. So, yeah, that's all I have to say, and I will see you all around. Peace.